Hey, so Courtney, I'm gonna have uh, one person from Tribex, one person from Freedom Fighters, and one person from uh, the Lost Voices, and they're all gonna do a live interview with you uh, from four to seven on Sunday. Extra, 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 extra,
Thank you for coming back out and having conversations with people. I really appreciate that. That's what it's all about. Thank you. You gotta have a conversation. You gotta come to an answer. You gotta listen. Right. And receive. Right. So I appreciate it. I just wanted to say thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. There you go. You like fly to my eyes. I apologize. You like the police. No. <laughs> sorry about that, but I did just want to shake your hand and say thank you. Know you know why I came out of it? Yeah, yeah, I was here. Well, no. You don't know why I came out. Oh, okay. I was walking out of class. The kid that was pushing the protest uh -huh. was a member of my organization. Oh, okay. So I felt the need to grab him and, like, before he, or before something happened right. that would negatively impact my organization. Right. Well, definitely appreciate that. I'm trying to keep it. I don't want the dude to get hurt or him to fucking hurt somebody. Right. Whatever. Whatever. Happens, right? Anybody. Like, it's just. Yeah. We all want to keep it peaceful and just have a conversation. Maybe dance a little. <laughs> so I came out tonight to dialogue with a few of the leaders within this, uh, this movement. Um, not make a demand, but just, you know, support request. certain causes and make certain requests, right? Like, yeah. just ask peacefully, like, you know, if you want yeah. people to support this, then, uh, you know, if I support it. But if I'm going to jump on board all the way, like, Maybe not do certain things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like drag the fuck out. That's it. Yeah, no, I understand. I do understand, but I, I'm I'm really, I'm grateful to see that the conversations are even happening. You know what I mean? Instead of just like bumping heads. Like This conversation happened tonight in a, a closed room with a bunch of, uh, there was maybe one of them. I had to make an argument for why white privilege actually exists. And I felt embarrassed that I actually had to make the argument, but... There was a receptiveness amongst most people that agreed with that argument that these things exist. Systematic oppression, fucking uh, cultures that break people down. Yeah. Right? Like, so if there's a willingness on our part to admit that, right? Then why can't we come together and stop certain things that have been Right. Yeah, no, it does. It does. Like, let's find a common ground and let's work from there. Absolutely. Right. Right. So, Today is one of the big heated things was uh, the flag and what me and him have been talking about. Yeah, it's a symbol, yeah. What does it really matter? Yeah, students came and posted flags here in the which is disrespectful too. Yeah. Because they don't know how to handle a, a color, right? Uh, but for us, like, the dragon on the ground, like, and that kid that came up and was like, victory out and upset, it means something different. Right? Those are coffins draped with white, black, brown. Right. Serving a principle that maybe they believe in much more than like some corporate identity or some bullshit philosophy. It's about a greater ideal, and that flag represents that ideal to me. You know, like liberty, pursuit of happiness for all people, regardless of color. Does that make sense? No, yeah, it makes total sense. That's how we view that flag. Like, we don't view it as an aggressive icon of a corporation. Like, it means something to us that is greater than that. And I think the more people embrace that and say, like, this is our flag, and stop viewing it as a, a form of divisive nature. Yeah, it has a history. Yeah, its history isn't, like, as illustrious as we would like it to be. Like, we all wish we had a perfect history in this country, but that's just not the case, right? And because that's not the case, you know, I understand where some of this is from. But moving forward, why can't we all unite behind one ideal that says more people, regardless of how our government, you know, suppresses communities by not funding education? Why, why can't we embrace an ideal that whether I'm black, white, brown, like we all have the right to succeed, we all have the right to come up in a society where we feel safe. Right. I, I mean, I feel like that's a human issue. I think every human deserves that.
You know what I mean? I would hope so. Like, I, like, I was trying to answer. You know what I'm saying? And I can say, I never served in the trenches with you, but you my brother. You know what I'm saying? I can say that. And I can mean my man. And that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But. It's the corporation of America. It's not the people of America that I have a problem with. It's just the corporation of the government. There was a guy that two congressional medals of honor. Right, the highest award you can get in the United States military. He got two of them. He got out of the military and he wrote a book called War is a Racket. In which she talked about the war industrial complex and how the people that go into the military and that's just, you know, in essence become pawns in a greater scheme. Right. And I agree with that. What's the name of the book? Uh, war is a racket by Smedley Butler. Right? Smedley war War is a racket by Smedley Butler. Smedley Butler, War is a Racket. Saying that's a good piece of uh, reading material. It is a good piece of reading material. Just like all the Shah's men are, which articulates the overthrow of the Iranian government by the U.S. Okay. Right? Or look at what happened in Nicaragua, right? There are long trains of abuses, just like Jefferson articulated, right? Trains of abuses. They stack upon each other like cars, right? So you can line them all up and say, these are all the things we have to overcome. Or... You can create communities, right? That bond with you and say, these are things we you had a lot of right. how to access it. It's Are you on Twitter? Yeah. Okay, if you follow me on Twitter, you can just click on the link. You and I have to. Because you can stand here all It's a uh, Bella. It's so unless you're willing to get me on your side and everybody else that I represent and all the others. Thank you. Oh man, how, how you doing? Nice time to see. See? You good? Yeah, how you doing? I've been good. You still playing? Yes. We had a chance. Shoot, where am I playing now? I didn't have a chance to do it. I had to see you. From the beginning, I had to see you. Saturday was pretty fun. Okay, okay. But it's not the guy who's been on the back of the street. Howard is the one who came with me to get I got a show that's like a wedding. I'm playing with Nico's Blood. Oh, I haven't seen him. I don't know who yeah, walked away with me. I also oh, haven't yeah. seen yeah. the real yeah. yeah. so. so, like, actually speaking, maybe they're together. Like, like, like so, a lot of people didn't call out for the big deposit. So, you guys, I'm going to shut down the stream. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and we're looking for somebody who rode with us here. Um, please let me know when the chat lag catches up so I can shut down and it won't be a premature shutdown. Um, but yeah, things have kind of quieted down. People are still having the conversations. And I'm going to come back up shortly, but I do need to take a bathroom break. Right, when he was drunk. Right, so I'm like... going to zoom in on your shirt. It's a freedom fighter. Yeah. All right, thanks, y'all.